reality TV and social media celebrities popularising certain beauty standards, cosmetic surgery is becoming increasingly popular worldwide. Botox and fillers are the most popular non-surgical treatments performed on women in the UK, with the number of men also seeking these cosmetic procedures rapidly increasing in recent years. Shockingly, campaign group Save Face noted a 37% rise in searches for lip filler appointments during the first two weeks of Love Island airing this year. Although we believe that natural beauty is always the winner, there's no denying that these treatments are more available and more popular than ever before. But are they safe if you have arthritis? Botox is a drug used medically to treat certain muscular conditions and cosmetically to remove wrinkles by temporarily paralysing facial muscles. Dermal fillers are substances injected into your face. They temporarily fill lines and wrinkles and add volume to areas such as your lips or cheeks. As with any invasive treatment, there are some unlikely risks and potential side effects for anybody receiving Botox and dermal fillers. These particular side effects are no more likely in a patient with arthritis. However, if you take immunosuppressants, then there may be an increased risk of infection due to these drugs lowering your body's immune system. You can limit your risk of infection by speaking to your doctor before going ahead with any treatment. Only considering these procedures when your disease is well managed and not during an active flare-up. Choosing a medical practitioner who is on a register to show that they meet set standards in training, skill and insurance. Being completely open about your condition with your practitioner. Following aftercare instructions to ensure proper healing and also expect extra recovery time. Don't stop following aftercare instructions at the end of the recommended time if you're not ready to yet. Other than increased infection risks, there is actually no known contraindication with Botox, fillers and arthritis medications. A study entitled Safety and Effectiveness of Cosmetic Minimally Invasive Procedures Among Patients with Systemic Autoimmune Disease published in the British Medical Journal noted our results suggest that non-invasive or minimally invasive cosmetic dermatologic procedures including energy, neurotoxin and filler procedures may be safe among rheumatological patients and do not cause autoimmune systemic disease exacerbation when performed in periods of remission. In other words, this particular study suggests that autoimmune diseases such as inflammatory arthritis are not worsened by receiving minimally invasive cosmetic or dermatologic procedures such as Botox and fillers. With all that in mind, if Botox and fillers are your thing, then your arthritis doesn't have to stop you. Do your own research, speak to your doctor if you're unsure, and refer back to our checklist of ways to minimise your chance of infection. Or just buy a good lip liner and embrace your natural beauty. That's what we'll be doing.